Good afternoon. I'm standing here on Gander Hill, and I'm about to show you around Abbott's house, number 48 Gander Hill, which is this beautiful old Turner house you're looking at. Just so you know where we are, uh, we're right on the Hayward Seas Linfield borders. So literally just down from us here, 100 yards, is the roundabout with Sunt Avenue and Summerhill Lane. That's the walk into Linfield. You've got the Witch Pub that way. And then the railway station is 0.7 of a mile in that direction. And schools-wise, you've got all the local schools on your doorstep here. Um, but also the local area is very well served by numerous excellent independent schools, which I'll tell you about in a moment. So, our clients, they bought this house in the 1960s. They've really looked after it. It's a classic old Turner house. Um, as you can see, they added an extension some years ago, which has given them this big double garage and another big uh, living room or playroom above. I'll quickly show you the garage. It's nice to see a car in one. Let's turn those lights off, get the garage door. But as you can see, lots of parking, and these it's on a fabulous plot. I th we think the plot is around about a fifth of an acre, and you'll see there's lawns, there's these beautiful, lots of wild flowers, and lots of uh, herbaceous borders. But you can see the sort of classic outline of the old house, and it's, it's still got a lot of all the old original character features throughout, which I'll point out as we go around. So come and have a look inside. Remember that little rear porch behind the garage? That goes through to a utility room. Then come inside. Now, for those that don't know you, Harold Turner was an architect. He designed all these wonderful old houses with these classic arts and crafts character features. And this house has got lots of the inherent, feature, inherent features in it. In particular, look at these staircases. So they are solid bits of oak uh, that have been made into a staircase. Classic uh, balustrade as well. You've got all this joinery, lots of cupboards everywhere. This is all wood that's been painted. Um, I must say, people seem to have fallen out of fashion of the exposed wood huh, that makes the houses feel dark. Um, but come through. So you've got a living room here. Lovely room with the beams on the ceiling. That is a typical fireplace. So these are sort of like roof tiles that they put in an, an arch and they're all individual. Um, anyone who lives locally will appreciate these old Turner houses, but this one really has got some lovely old features, which they really looked after. A few other things they have done is they have replaced the old windows, the old crittle frame windows, and they've put these rather expensive, they look like black anodized aluminium leaded like casement windows in. And you'll even see when we go outside, they built a fabulous little garden room. And then you've got the folding doors through into the dining room. Again, another very pretty room. That's a door back to the entrance hall, and that's just a uh, drinks cabinet, would you believe, back in its day. And I've brought you around this way. These are bifolding doors through to the breakfast area. And you've got the doors out to the garden. I'll give you a glimpse out there in a moment. The fab family sized kitchen breakfast room. So this comes back round from the entrance hall there. So it's all painted gloss units, looks like solid granite worktops, windows overlooking the front. A good size family space and then anyone with children or dogs this has got to be the most important room in the house the utility area this is bigger and better fitted than most people's kitchens but you've got all, all the uh, utility appliances in the sink out here and another back door into the garden that was the doorway i said from the entrance hall to the front and then this is the bonus room so this is either your fifth bedroom or as you can see they actually use this as the uh, was the very much the children's playroom, the lounge. They brought up a big family here. But what a great space. And again, overlooking the front of the property. Now, obviously the house has been extended, but there is potential to either do some modernization works or extend the house further if you wanted to. So lots and lots of potential. Uh, there is gonna be a, there would be a big loft space in this house. So if you really wanted more bedrooms, you've got that potential. And then come upstairs. So Velux window giving a skylight on the first floor landing. The separate loop. And I'll take you around in order. So back right hand corner. Now we're southeast facing at the back. So this is on that sort of southwest corner. Um, give you an idea of the view out the gardens. Lovely garden. So those houses you're seeing over the back of us are actually on Summerhill Lane itself. But a lovely double aspect room with the skeelings coming in. So lots of character. Again, look at these. Proper old latches. These are all original. Nice size bedroom here as well. Again, double aspect. You've got the little alcove. Some of these houses had little basins in these cupboards 
as, as a sort of standard feature, which is way ahead of their time. And even things like the quarry tiled window sill. So lots of features. And it gives you an outlook. You're in a really lovely neighborhood here. Everything around you is a bigger, well, most of them are bigger houses than this. So it's a, a rather grand local district. Family bathroom there, again with a bay window. Little bedroom, so I should have said lots of cupboards as well. So plenty of cupboards on the landing. The small bedroom at the back, again with another bay window overlooking the gardens. That's a nice size double. And then what you would regard as the main bedroom is this one has the ensuite. It's a good size double as well. And again, let me just close that door. Plenty of wardrobes either side. So, and then a bathroom with a basin, a loo, a bidet, and an oversized shower. So you've got one of these great big oversized showers in here. And again, that's got a window. Obviously frosted glass in the lower section with a window overlooking the front. So that's the inside. So just to recap, we've got four bedrooms and two bathrooms upstairs in the main house. You've got the lounge, the dining room, the big kitchen breakfast room, the utility room, and then that bonus lounge, I said, or fifth bedroom or playroom. I mean, that section of the house could easily be converted into sort of a self-contained annex if you really wanted it, because there's room to build another garage if you really had to. Give me another glimpse down there. That's a lovely room. It really is, you know, anyone who is local really love that. The locals love these old Turner houses and this one has got lots of uh, character with it. So come out into the garden. So it's a fabulous plot. When you come around the back here, you suddenly realize just how pretty this house is. And they've obviously extended it and done the bay window again uh, during their time. So what they have done to this house has been very sympathetic. Uh, proper old pergola. And they've even put the roof tiles on the top of that to give the character. They put brick coins on the corner of the garden room. Look at this rather interesting brickwork. And then your home office or kids playroom, whatever you want to do. Make a wonderful garden kitchen for entertaining because with that outlook, it's not a bad spot to be. Get the barbecue on. And then the garden, let's show you around. Got a shed up in this corner, a greenhouse. Looks like we've got power and lighting around here as well. A little productive vegetable plot. I have got a measurement on our sales particulars. I can't remember off the top of my head. I think it was something like 80 feet wide in this section and then 60, 60 feet off the back of the house to that back boundary. But obviously I wasn't taking into account. You've got all this extra side space, which is beautifully done. And they've got it enclosed for children and grandchildren and dogs with some railings. But a great bit of space. But there you go. That is Abbott's house on Gander Hill. It's for sale on the market for the first time in well over 50 years, almost 60 years. And it's for sale through Manson McTaggart in Haywards Heath. Not Linfield, even though we're on the Linfield boundaries, but you can walk into our Linfield office because we do sell these houses on this side of town of Haywards Heath through our Linfield office as well. So if that's closer, pop in there and grab the sales particulars. Hope that's given you a better impression than just staring at a few photos. Any questions? please contact Manson McTaggart and do follow us on YouTube. If you subscribe to our YouTube channel, it's absolutely free. And all these videos are live way before the properties are on right move. Thanks for watching.